but last video I did with this was I was shooting the BX25 mags which have uh, are known not to work so I thought I'd load up a bunch of little 10 rounders and some other mags, see how they work through the zip I did take it home and took it apart for disassembly just the basic disassembly and then lubed it up a little bit I guess we did have one. So there's one bad one. I guess there's a second bent one. Last round. There's a third. Last round. No failure on that mag at all. Fourth magazine. Let me finish it. All right, now it's out. Try it with one of these old uh, ram lines. Definitely cool with a ram line. Uh oh, that's not it. Let's try this last Butler Creek, I guess. Well, all right, here we go. Trying out the zip, a couple different magazines. Tried it with the 10s, had three problems out of 10 here. Let's say one out of that one, none out of that one. It's like two or three there, a couple of two there. So we're getting about 80% reliability out of the 10 rounders. These were the incorrect angle for sure. They didn't work at all. And this one didn't work for at all, the, the wrong angle. Same thing with the Butler Creek. So unfortunately, um, not looking good for the zip. So now you've got a more accurate reliability test instead of that last video where I was shooting the BX25s, which are known not to work. However, these are all supposed to work and uh, didn't get a lot of uh, rounds out of it. Although it is fun and it is kind of interesting because it's new. Thanks for watching.
The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.